Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna take a look at another mod which is the Japanese Badger. And this is a mod made by Leaf. Leaf is this very... Um, this matter that always around, always comes out with new stuff and most of it is quite good. Uh, he also have a finger in a lot of the other mothers, but uh, the one thing is who uploads them, but m many of the mods are credited by multiple mothers. This is only credited by Leaf, so he did this on his own. And that's the Japanese badger, as you see here put on the picture below me. It doesn't look like a badger. Uh, originally, I was like, okay, is it just the name? And then in real, uh, it's actually not even in the badger family or something like that. But the more I look at it, its body is bat basically a badger. It's just the coloration that's different. There's a little little differences. We will, I will show both of them side by side in uh, the next part of the video. Um, but yeah, it have this lighter part in the face. It have these going down here now this picture it looks straight ahead but it is because it have that long long face it is going from up here and downwards out uh, towards the snow you can actually also see that in the game here so why don't we jump over there and get started they do clearly swim but uh, i think oh we have a lot of we have a lot going on. We have another coloration there. We have another coloration there. But I feel I feel like the first thing we should do is find a male, drop him over here, and then go to our European badger. Is which is and again when I say it doesn't look like a badger, it's because it lo doesn't look like the badgers I know from where I live. That would be the European badger. And I think you will agree with me that this looks a little bit different. Uh, a lot of the features is the same though. Uh, the snout part seems a little bit different. But I can't figure out with myself if it's colorations. For instance here. It have that indent there. Doesn't seem to have that here. But if it's painted or if it's modeled. I'm not sure. You can also see the body where you have this um, up, down, and then the big butt. Here it's more like the, um, what's it called, the shoulder blades. It's much lower over here, and it's more like one rounded thing. Kind of a balloon shape. It's smaller here, and then it goes up here. When it comes to the tail, though... This is very triangular. This is a little more rounded. So there is spe uh, differences besides just the colorations, of course. I don't think I need to pinpoint the coloration where it's different. Um, the ears here also seems a little bit smaller over here compared to the ones over here. Uh, but otherwise the cross is the same and I do assume that Leaf made this on this rack so the animations the uh, Most likely a lot of the stuff will be the same as over here Just want to show you that beautiful coloration over here I'm not sure it's a albino. It actually doesn't have a name this coloration But I would mention that it still have the drawings uh, the white drawings in the face uh, so this isn't a white color at all. It is a very, very light tan color. Uh, we also have the darker variation over here. But you can still clearly see on the drawings that it is the um, Japanese variation. So uh, yeah, and they use the same um, borrow. I did check that because I wanted to make sure um but it's in here it's a least concerned animal and the population in the wild is unknown it lives in japan in asia and it live in the tiger and timber biome 
<laughs> Sorry, that's what happens when you have cats. <laughs> uh, one of them only need 50 square meters of land and nothing else really, but as you saw, they do swim and they live from minus 7 to 38 degrees Celsius. Need a great two fence, 3.3 feet, that's a meter. And going over here, group size is from 1 to 7. And that's up to six of each. Uh, male groups only up to three, but female groups again up to seven. Uh, males have hierarchy based on age and size, and they are promiscuous, shy, and guests should not enter the habitat. Uh, they grow to about the 13 inch long and live for around 17 years, where around 28.4 pounds that's around 14.2 kilos and females 22.7 pounds that would be roughly 11.3 kilos uh, recession maturity at age 2 and can reproduce until they die uh, get between 1 and 5 offspring every year and are pregnant for 2 months should be about average to get to reproducing captivity. Do not have anti interspecies enrichment, which again, I don't think it would mind if you put it in with the other batcher, but again, people don't like crush breeding uh, that much. Um, meat gruel, insects, and small fruit. And for enrichment, again, I forgot. I forgot to put them up. So we have the tennis ball, the blood scent marker, the sprinkler, the dog ball, and the skittle. So I'm just gonna write here badger. And it's the same. So uh, you can't just go down here and have a set and write badger. And then you will get the right stuff. So yeah what do we do next oh it's feeding time now and then i just want to make sure that we don't have even more colorations that i haven't seen that's the european one that's the base color we have one of the darker ones the albino disappeared oh we should actually also have the babies where are the babies Okay, I think the albino is a baby. Yeah, it's a little smaller. It's not that much smaller. Um, but that's weird. really not the weirdest thing here. Just gonna do that. And it's not the only um, thing this week that does this. But you can see here it's pictures. Seems like it's the albino wallaby, I think it is. So it accidentally got the wrong picture. It's not something that ruined the mud at all. It's just something I find a little funny when they do that accidentally. Um, so we have that there. We also had another baby somewhere. Uh, and it have a normal picture. So, oh, it comes up there. I think they have gradual aging. I'm not sure, but I think so. Because I feel like this seems a little smaller than the white one, but I'm not sure. They don't seem to have like their own um, look. They just are pretty much just smaller adults. So there's nothing really to come after there, if I'm honest. But why don't we use you to take a close up? And this is Chiharu. I think and he, she is 8.9 years old and here you can see okay this is a combination with something I'm really a fan of and then a combination of things that isn't exactly what I wanted so here we can see a lot of hair strands um just a second um sorry about that uh, a lot of hair strands here but if we get a closer look then it looks like we have hair strands going from here all the way up here 
and cover part of the ear and the hair strands aren't that long. Well, it is possible because I've never seen this animal in real life, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, I feel like we have the same here where the hair strands seems to be really, really long. But besides that, I'd rather have two long hair strands than just flat surface. When it comes to the side here, it's much better if you ask me. We have a little bit of the blurriness going on. For everyone that knew, this isn't a bad thing exactly. Um, because f fluff just doesn't work in Planet Zoo, that's a fact. Um, but this is probably going to work when we change the camera. So you can see now it's good here and not that good on the side. And that's just how, how it is. Now it's good there. So what, what, which angle you look from, it's right in front of you. It's going to look the best. And that's pretty much all they could do. Uh, unless they can do something that I haven't seen any mother do at this point. Um, but that's how it works in the game. And again, I don't blame the mothers at all. Because we have seen how this look from Frontier. And it isn't any better. Um, tail here also looks quite beautiful. And it is difficult with a fluffier animal. It's not the fluffiest. But if we go over here and take a look. We actually get a little bit of the same. Again, I don't have a remaster. I, I, this is the one from the game, the one you have. And it's even more blurry. <laughs> and the hair seems to be shorter even. And the shorter hair, the less blurriness. So I just find that fact kind of funny. Um, so with that in mind, this seems suddenly much be more beautiful. I do like this coloration when we get back here. It's very beautiful and every single transition is color is very unnoticeable. Of course, we can see it's lighter here than it is here, but it's not like you have a line somewhere where you can say, oh, that's when that color starts. That's when that color stops and that makes it very, very beautiful. It's a very good mod if you ask me. Uh, again, if you don't like badges, if you don't like Japanese badges, if you don't want any more small carnivores, uh, um, sorry, omnivores in your game, then this isn't the mod for you. But if you like this, if you think it's pretty, if it's something you want to play with, then please uh, get it. As always, I have two links in, uh, sorry, I have a lot of links below. I have one for the game which is the Nexus link, where you can go there and download it. I also have one to Leaf Production, Leaf who made this mod. He have a tutorial on how to install mods into your game. Go and follow, sorry, follow that, that uh, tutorial. Uh, and then I almost promise, I do not promise, but I almost promise you that you should have no issues installing mods into your game. It's very well done. It's works pretty good. Um, and it's really like you can see his computer. He drags and drops the files and you see everything. And it's the best tutorial I could find. Um, so I really recommend it. Again, there are tons of them out there. Maybe there's others that are better for the way you learn. For me, this is the best one I found. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, here you can see the swimming animations works as they should. I never seen a badger swim to be <laughs> oh, it's smiling. <laughs> I never seen a badger swim to be honest, but it seems like how they would do it. Uh, anyway, guys, I don't think I would bore you with any more details today. So, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.